This is gross. That was... <laughs> <laughs> That's a gross thing to do. All right, let's. Are you coughing on me? I'm sorry. What the heck was that? I'm sorry. The video just started. God, she can't go anywhere without getting sick, actually. Yeah, no. Well, ciao, Slovakia. I don't know if you've heard, if you've come across any knowledge recently, <laughs> have been aware or informed of anything, any happenings that it might have been happening while things have been happening. But I proposed. <laughs> huh? Yes. And now we're shooting a video about the proposal. We are. And it's super excited. We did this out super quick, and the video is not coming from my phone to the internet, so we will manually put it in from the phone. But I ended up, I got it on camera. Spoiler alert. What? Spoiler alert. I said no. Oh, okay. Well, and we're here smiling because sadness becomes us all, right? No, man. She said yes. You, did you say yes? I said yes. Why did you say yes? Because I love you. Oh, don't you be so <laughs> gross. Oh, cameraman. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, surprise skin. We I planned an impromptu trip um, to Universal Studios a couple months ago. I feel like that's an oxymoron. Impromptu a couple months ago. Well, it's impromptu for us. Yeah. Because... <laughs> We plan things way more in advance and in like a year in advance. Yeah, usually. we plan that. Yeah, like crazy in advance. Like we, uh, we, we, we did Renaissance Fair, you know, like last year, and we planned that two years before we yeah. went. We heard about it and we were like, we can save up money so we can go to this thing, you know. And uh, I'll tell a part of the story that she hasn't heard before. I know you're tired, but I'm gonna tell the part of the story you haven't okay. heard before. So since I've been doing YouTube, I've been extremely busy, right? And especially when the ads dropped out, I was even busier than that. <laughs> so I stopped seeing my family that often. And my sister got pregnant, right? And she had her first kid. And then I went independent. She got pregnant. She started having her second kids. Now I have, I have my nephew and my niece was on the way. And after my niece came, I was like, dang, I really want to spend a ton of time with my family. So I just started doing that. And so my sister had been coming over to the house and we've been watching movies and eating food, just kind of chilling on some of our days off, probably once a week. And the second time my sister came over, she said, man, you've been pretty busy, you know, but what's the next step? What are you guys doing? And I was like, I think I'm just gonna marry Skitten. <laughs> that's what I think the next step is. I think I'm just gonna marry her. So I think that's what we're gonna do. My sister was like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And she's like, wow, okay. So, uh, I've been waiting for you to say that because actually on my phone, I got pictures, I got different color schemes we can use for the wedding, where are you going to do it, you know where you should do it at, and she said Universal because they have the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and I was like, wow, that's a good idea, I'm going to do that, <laughs> and so a couple weeks went by, you know, I checked ticket prices to see if we could make it work. And I was like, man, if we do it before June, the tickets aren't that expensive. Like, they don't do the price hike. And if we can get some tickets on sale, we can go, you know, and do it now, you know, as soon as possible. So they end up being two months in advance, which to me is now. Um, but, I feel like that's a pretty good timeline. But, like, June, it gets expensive. May is not that bad, but April, that is just like, bless you. April is just good ticket prices. So we're going to find some tickets on sale even. For April on her two of her days off and yeah. uh, and so that's when I decided to do it and uh, what's up Beyonce? What's up Beyonce? How are you Beyonce? <laughs> We're doing that shit the whole fucking trip. <laughs> of course I wanted to share this stuff with you guys but planning a surprise is difficult. What was that beep? Okay, I don't, we're gonna investigate that deep later. Um, but planning stuff to surprise is really difficult working online because all of y'all have big mouths. This is super nice. So yeah, that's what I wanted to do. We've Our relationship has been amazing. And I mean, it's a lot of ups and downs for sure, but like not as many as you would expect for how young we are. Like you would definitely expect it to be crazier, but it, you know, we've kept things really solid between us. I mean, kudos to Chavez not being as crazy as I am. Yeah, I, I mean, I went through my crazy phase like when I was young, <laughs> you know, like really young, and I figured stuff out like because things got serious for me so quick after high school. I mean, after I turned 18, there were just so many ways I could mess my life up, basically. I mean, if, when you look at applications for jobs that you want, um, a lot of federal jobs you can't have a record for. And 
that is really what got my shit in line. It was a very selfish decision, but I was just like, if I want a good paying job, like, cause my dad was military and everything, I can't have a record. So I started to get my shit under control then, you know, started becoming really focused and putting my energy towards other things. And then injury basically took the rest of that crazy out of me because I, my shoulder, I lost, you know, I still don't have feeling in this part of my shoulder right. and my arm, right? This shit is numb as fuck. I don't even notice that anymore. I forget to talk about that. And with my knee surgery, I had five knee surgeries over, what, a year and a half? Yep. Yeah, two knee infections, two pick lines put in. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a thing up on screen so you can see what that is. That'll change your life. And I have a phobia of needles, so guess what that feels like going through all of your arteries over your heart. You can feel it the entire way. So if you think things won't change you, that definitely will. But focus is just one thing I've had for a while. And, you know, we like doing the same kind of stuff, so... It's good. It's really good. Another thing that helps you figure out how much you love somebody is to watch other people go through drama. And we have seen other people go through so much pain and suffering that ain't got shit to do with us. And we be watching the sideline like, oh my lord, like they doing what? Like we just fucking argued about apple pie. Remember we had that fight about she went to go she was home late or something. I was mad that she was home late. And she came in with a bunch of groceries, but ain't none of the groceries was for me, right? She had like a bunch of snacks or something. I was mad. She ain't bring no snacks for me. I'd been working the whole time. And she was like showing me all the stuff she bought. I was pissed off. And then the next day, somebody got cheated on. And we was like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Like, because, remember, because she got, they got into an argument. So he just went to fuck somebody else. It was just like, well, damn, like that is just, That's not that how that works. Not, no, we just, we silent treatment in for like, what, 30 minutes and then we apologize and then watch TV. Like that was our, and then that I was, bought you a pie. yeah, and then she bought me a pie. I bought him an entire pie. <laughs> yeah. That he didn't that eat, I couldn't finish. He didn't finish that, that pie. I couldn't finish. Like, I don't know. And I just saw a video, uh, the reaction will be up later, um, but it was another relationship online, you know, and I don't. And of course not to make light of their situation because their situation is very different. But they were talking about, which you didn't see it, so you don't know. I was going to say, I have no idea what you're talking about. But they were talking about, you know, it's difficult to work online because they're always together all the time. And so their issues are not so much of like a toxic relationship because they get along so well. It's more of just being individuals because they're sitting on top of each other all the time. And right. so... I, we could relate to that more when I was injured. That I mean, we were around each other. Up. I mean, I couldn't go nowhere. So if she didn't have nothing to do, we was just hanging out together. That couple had a situation where they worked together previously too. So for the, over the past four years, they actually worked together and then they worked online together. Right. So they'd been together for four years straight. And But for us, it hasn't really been that. She's always had her own jobs. And even when we worked together, when we did pest control, I worked out of the office. Right. We didn't see each other like ever. Like ever. We actually see each other very little considering how much we like each other. I like, just made your life easier. Yeah. She literally did. She worked in the office and made my life help dealt with angry customers if I had any. Made my route easy to deal with. Um, and so those just weren't, those are definitely the more type of problems that we deal with. But those are easier when you have your own thing to do. You know what I mean? So those are there's just there's just different issues. There's different relationship problems. I mean, I know it's it's kind of hard to talk about, but like when you look to build a future with somebody, it's like you want it to be with somebody that you like and that you get along with and that you have similar views on life with and like I have that with her. You know what I mean? And it's always been super obvious. I'm just a lot I like to wait. I don't like to rush into things, you know? So we've been getting along for like a really long time, but I just like to wait on that, you know? That is so great to me because that's not my relationship with my girlfriend, that's everyone else's relationship with my girlfriend. I can tell her where to go, you can't tell her where to go. That's, that's, <laughs> my girlfriend is extraordinarily nice to me. She treats me great. I don't, I go home, I'm tired, she takes care of me. If I get sick, she does everything I need her to do. If I need to look good on camera, she makes me look good. If I need to be funny, she tells me to be funny. If I'm sleeping in late, she wakes me up. Like, it's a wonderful, fantastic time. <laughs> then she just don't give a fuck about y'all niggas. <laughs> Sorry. She don't, she don't care about your feelings. She cares about my feelings. That's, 
That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful setup. And it's the same thing with me and her. Like, I'll be talking on the Discord sometimes. <laughs> a new fan will, you know, join in and they don't know us really. They just, one of y'all. And they'll start talking to Skitten and, you know, something, something. And I don't know. They'll say something about me and the claws will come out, bruh. And I'll be like, yo, she does not know you're joking. Okay? I know you're joking. I hear the joke. She don't know it's a joke. So you better re-up. All right, when you start talking about I'm ugly and lazy or whatever joke you was trying to make, it's not coming across. <laughs> Shut your mouth. She gonna get you, bruh. She gonna get you. So that that, but for, I'm just not concerned with the internet's view of our relationship. That's why I don't right. talk about stuff like that. Cause if you don't keep your personal relationship and growth separate from the internet, you're destined to have failure. You know, right. you have to talk about things in a real way and keep that up. So I know I'm rambling at this point, but those are all things that come to me where I'm like, there are some people who don't understand how ready we are to be married, you know? Yeah. And I didn't realize that I talked on the Discord to a bunch of people and somebody said, isn't it early for you to be married, Skidden? And haven't you only been together for a year? I'm like, no, I've only had my YouTube channel for a year, you dingus. I've been with her way before YouTube, dude. Like, way before, y'all, like, you, yeah, I don't know. I just, that stuff is just, that just comes to me when people just don't, they don't realize everything that's going on and how stable it is. Like, life has got its ups and downs, you know? But when you work with somebody to make things work, those ups and downs are very small. Right. You know what I mean? They're very small and consistent. And life does not have to be this just crazy thing. And even with the couple I referred to before, when they break up and they're not on camera crying and all that stuff, and they're just talking about real issues, that's because they really get along. Like, so it's easy, you know what I mean? Like, love is out there, okay? You know, just be willing to work for it and argue about dessert every once in a while. <laughs> and I think something that's really important is like something that somebody brought up to me today was like, aren't you, aren't you young? Like, you're so young, you don't have to get married yet. And I was like, okay, but I want to get married. Yeah. And <coughs> do I, do I always think that people who get into relationships super young or get into uh, marriage or super young. Um, do I always think it's a good decision? No, but I think you have to be really honest about like how you feel in your relationship and like, why do I want to be with you forever? Right? Yeah. Do I want to be with you forever because I've never known anything else? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Or like, or do I want to be with you forever because like I actually love you and I care about you and I know you love me and you care about me. You yeah. know what I mean? And I want to take care of you and I want you to take care of me. Yep. You know what I mean? That's really big. We talk about that all the time. All the time. Taking care of each other. Like when things go get rough and we're tired, we haven't slept. Like you get these grinds. I mean, that's, today. Yeah, like dude. Today. Because we came back from Universal. First off, I didn't sleep before the trip. Oh I was up God. 24 hours. We got a cat story to tell about that shit. Oh, should we do? We should do it in another video. That's, I was yeah. saying, that's another video because we haven't even made it to the, this. Is all intro. We didn't sleep going into that trip. I didn't sleep going into the trip. We had very little sleep on the trip. We worked all the way up until the trip. Yeah. We had things to do right after the trip. We slept for four hours and we had to get up, and then we went to a, a lunch um, thing we had to go to, and then right back to work. Yeah. You know, and she's getting sick again. Right on top of it. You know, so it's. Like those are the things like dealing with that type of stuff is uh That seemed like a perfectly time like sniffle and it was it wasn't yeah. on purpose. Okay. You just I'm just sick. I hate when she sniffles in my videos and she's sick too. That's a pet peeve, man. Y'all <laughs> y'all get the good the good part, man. Look how sick you are. Stop being sick in my videos. Sorry. Always sick. You can't get a feature without you being sick. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the fun part. We're gonna watch the proposal. We ain't talking nothing about the proposal. I just laughed at a bunch of shit. I talked about earlier today, she makes me laugh. I don't have a choice, because I sent it to myself, but it didn't show up. So how are you gonna sync the You're just gonna insert the video? Yeah. I'm just curious. Oh, okay, I can show you after. I mean, oh, okay. maybe we shouldn't do it while the camera's on. We do tutorial on how to edit videos right now. That's probably not a good okay, idea. All right, you're right, you're oh, right. Oh, okay, I know I'm right. Okay, this is pop. And then I just randomly started recording her. I was like, I'll do you, and then you do me, right? So then here's hers. Tell, baby, right here. Tell everybody where you're at. <laughs> Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Asking you where you at. By that big ass rock. A big rock <laughs> on a stage. <laughs> and that's at the, the stage. I want to show you guys a little glimpse of the stage. You know what I With mean? Jacqueline. So you can see where it's at. Yeah, do some fancy stuff. That's 
Yeah, there you go. That now we're vacation. Did my Usain bolt? All right, all right. So this is our grabbing it, and then this is mine. We'll have to sign up just a little bit on this one. This is the proposal. I have the ring. I'll show you. You'll, you'll see it. You'll see. It. All right, here it is. Hey, baby. Right. Yeah. Hey, where are we? We're at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Yeah. What are Universal we next Studios. to? What are we by? We're by the big rock. Big we're rock. This big ass oh, rock. Yeah. yeah. There's nobody here on the stage. True. So I gotta find a way to get on my knees. Here. This is the struggle here. Just get on my backpack. What are you doing? I'm showing the rock. Bam. <laughs> what did we bring? We brought stuff in this bag. Okay. This is the part where I was super we confused because you said you were showing them what we bought. But I was I like, didn't you didn't open the bag. Anymore. I didn't think you could have stopped this. Because I have, so right here where those wires are, there's a little pocket that I have to unzip. Uh, I can't get the shit bank. unzipped. It's, it's a power bank, it's not a bomb. You pulled out the wires. Don't make those jokes in public, please. Yeah, I know. And we have your wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> I start laughing because she started crying immediately. I don't get no speech time. She cried. Look at the, look at the camera drop. And I just wanted to know. Yeah. At the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. What the else? most magical place on earth. Yeah. If you just... <laughs> will be my wife. It's she not a joke. <laughs> It's not a joke, it's a real ring. Yes, you will? <laughs> yes! <laughs> she said yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> a little crowd has yeah. formed and Everybody gone in that amount of yeah. time. Take that thing so off. So yelling at the crowd this to thing on your figure finger, out if we girl. were about to propose yeah. or not. Come here, look at that. Look at that. I got the oh, ring off. I forgot to put the fits. ring off before I stood up to celebrate. <laughs> I didn't put the ring on before I celebrated. Huh? Yes, please. Okay, and that's where the people were competing to take a picture. <laughs> yes. In the back, you got old man Joe, and in the front, you got middle-aged woman Mary. I don't know who they are, but... And she was like, do you want me to take a picture of you guys? And we were like, yeah. And then the dude was like, oh, well, I was going to offer to take a picture of you, too. Like, who cares? Who cares? We just, we just <laughs> want a picture. And then here are the pictures that they took. <clears throat> she didn't stop crying the entire time. She didn't look at the camera. I'm trying to pose for the camera she's not looking and that's the one that everybody got is that picture of so, me crying of her crying fiance how what's up fiance just ripped my earring out. yeah i ripped the earring out of my fiance's ah. ear yeah i'm glad you hurt fiance feel the pain of a relationship <laughs> fiance yeah just <laughs> love your way through the pain fiance <clears throat> so did you say yes you said yes, and that is that. And we are tired as all hell. <laughs> they are exhausted. I have both jobs tomorrow. Hey, you hear that? You hear that song? Like, <laughs> Turn an old man there for a second. Hold on. I have both jobs tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I'm super stoked. I don't even know what to, we've been. We we celebrated, celebrated, celebrated. I don't even just even set in yet. You know. I've been, I don't know, I've just been talking to everybody about it today. I told some guests about it today. I was just like, Gross. <laughs> they're, well, they're regulars, you know? So they're like, how are you? And I was like, oh, you know, I'm pretty good. <laughs> I just got engaged on Wednesday, no big deal. Oh my God. But it's so funny because they're like old, mm -hmm. you know? So they like, didn't understand that like my no big deal was sarcasm. Right. Oh, right. So they were just like, no, it is a big deal. <laughs> like, yes, yeah, thank you. I know it is. I'm aware. Cheers, man. And like today, I was leaving, you know? Mm -hmm. And they were like, you know, one last congratulations. And I was just like, <laughs> I'm a fiance. <laughs> I'm a fiance, y'all. We're getting married. We're getting married, dude. So you guys can all come um, to the marriage, to the wedding. <laughs> uh, we'll charge $5 a person. So everybody just come on through, drop your $5 in a bucket. Uh, no dress code. So you can hoot yourself out if you want to. That's but we fine. also will not be providing food. No food. Oh, no. What? No. No, no food. Uh, well, we'll herd you guys into a garage where you can watch the live stream of the wedding, which will be in a different location <laughs> than where you're invited to. But feel free to come on down and pay for it. That's the biggest problem. We don't know how we're going to pay for right. the wedding. Yeah. yeah but we're, we're broke. But we're going to do it. God damn it. That's what love does for you, Chavez.